Hey, what's up, VC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel, and uh, this is my response to uh, John uh, SMF Captain Howdy's uh, 1300 subs contest. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations, John. Uh, it's been a year now, uh, and 1300 subs. Um, both uh, pretty cool landmarks. You've, you've definitely uh, made your place in the VC, uh, and it just wouldn't be the same without you. Um, so, John asked us to show uh, some albums, uh, or, or to share some songs that we skip uh, on albums, on some popular albums, and uh, this is a hard one for me because I don't actually skip songs at all, uh, whether I'm listening to, to CDs or vinyl. Um, I've always been very much an album-oriented listener. Um, I like listening to, to entire albums as opposed to... Uh, um, skipping through songs. Um, the only time I, I really find myself skipping through songs at all is if I'm listening to uh, like Pandora and something comes up that I just don't like. Um, you know, or if I'm listening to my iPod in the gym, which is I think a hundred and it's either 120 or 160 gigs of music, uh, and and there's just certain stuff on there that just uh, uh, you know when I'm in the gym I want to get pumped up and if uh, you know, Silent Lucidity comes on, I'm going to skip past that, <laughs> you know, um, it's just not good, uh, gym music, but, uh, so I grabbed a couple, um, and like I said, the reality is, uh, I really wouldn't skip, uh, any of these while I was listening to the albums, um, but some of these are songs that, uh, have just never been favorites of mine, um, so let's start off with uh, a couple of John's favorites. We'll start off with uh, Kiss, Destroyer. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you uh, know where I'm going with this. Actually, I got this copy of Destroyer from John, uh, as a matter of fact. Um, this may be either the first or second VCLT that he sent me. But, uh, uh, Beth... Um, I've never been a, a huge fan of the song Beth. Um, I don't really like or dislike it. Um, it's just one of those songs that I could live with, could live without. Um, you know, it just it's just never really um, done it for me. Uh, I think it's an okay song, um, but when you rate it against the rest of the stuff that they were um, releasing during that time period, I just don't think it compares. Um... And then next up, uh, John's been on a Beatles kick lately, and uh, there, there's one Beatles song that uh, I've never been a huge fan of, and that's Sgt. Pepper's Lonely, Heart, uh, Lonely Hearts Club Band. Um, I'm not sure what it is with that song. I've just never, um, I've never been a fan of it. I, I love the Beatles. I love just about everything that they've ever put out. Uh, and that song, I always, I just always thought it was super cheesy, uh, super corny. I uh, just never got into it. I, I love the Sgt. Pepper album. I like everything else on it. I've just never really been a fan of the uh, title track. So, um, there you go. Sgt. Pepper's Only Hurts Club Band. Um, next up, I'll save the most controversial uh, and, and the best for last, I guess. Um, next up is off of uh, Pantera's Far Beyond Driven. This is actually my favorite Pantera album. Um, I've, I've always loved the aggressiveness of this. Um, when I was playing in, a, in my, uh, either my, I believe it was my second band, um, we used to love playing Pantera. Um, uh, listening to Pantera and trying to play Pantera made me uh, such a good drummer, or, or so much better of a drummer than I would have been uh, had I not been introduced to this band. But uh, I got into this band kind of late. Uh, I want to say it was right around the time Far Beyond Driven came out that I got into them. Uh, Far Beyond Driven wasn't the first album. Cemetery Gates, or not Cemetery Gates, um, Cowboys from Hell was. Uh, Cemetery Gates, I believe, was the first song from them that I remember hearing. But uh, um, as soon as I... I got a hold of a copy of Far Beyond Driven. Um, I was just absolutely hooked, and um, this has been my favorite of the Pantera album since. Um, but the song on here that's always driven me nuts is the very last song on the album, and it's uh, their their cover of Planet Caravan. Um, 
I like the song Planet Caravan, the, the original Black Sabbath cover, but it's or the the original Black Sabbath uh, version. Um, but it's never been my favorite Black Sabbath song. Uh, and then when I heard Pantera, it, it just redo it. It just uh, it just never. Uh, I really didn't like it. Um, and this is one where I, I won't say that I'll skip the album, but when that song comes on. Um, I'll usually get up and turn the, it's the last song of the album, so this is one where I actually will kind of skip it, because once that song starts, I'll usually get up and just change the record, so, but, uh, Planet Caravan, Pantera, and then, uh, this is the last one, like I said, I, I only grabbed a couple, um, just because I, I could have sat there for hours trying to figure out, um, you, you know, some songs, and these are, these are the ones that just kind of popped in my head right away, um, this last one's probably going to surprise some people. Um, this album by most, uh, by, by many, is considered the best metal album of all time. It's considered the best thrash album of all time. Um, I've never agreed with any of that. Um, but uh, it's the song Master of Puppets off the album Master of Puppets. Uh, I've personally always thought this album was overrated. Um, I don't think it's a bad album. I actually, uh, I actually love this album. I, I you know, I, uh, with the exception of Master of Puppets, which I've, I've just never been a huge fan of that song. I don't know why. Uh, it's just never compared to the rest of their output. It's just never been uh, a great song for me. But you know, Disposable Heroes, Leper Messiah, Damage Inc., Batter. I mean, I, I love the rest of this album. Just Master of Puppets just never been a great song in my opinion. Um, I have always thought, or this has always been my least favorite of the 80s albums uh, released by Metallica. Uh, Ride the Lightning has always been my favorite. Um, from the first moment I heard it, I love that album. And to this day, that's the most listened to album. Um, I would probably put... Um, in second place, Kill 'Em All. Uh, I just love the aggressiveness and the rawness of Kill 'Em All. Uh, it's just a sound that they they've never uh, accomplished again. Um, you know, and they're not they weren't young anymore after that. You know, and, and it, uh, that had a lot to do with it. You know, uh, and then Injustice for All, and then this would be number four for me. Like I said, it's just never been a huge one. Sorry, my door alarm just went off. But uh, this has never been a, a, a huge one for me. So, I'm sure this will surprise a lot of you, but Master of Puppets. So, that's it, uh, VC. That's it, John. Um, you know, like I said, uh, having you in the VC has, uh, uh, you know, really changed the dynamic of the VC. Uh, especially for myself and, and a couple others that are really close to you. Um, thanks for what you do. Uh, uh, you know, I thank you for, for the friendship. And uh, uh, here's to another, you know, 10 years in the VC. Take care, brother.